Then here, and today we're going to be doing a video on the Terraria Inventory Editor for PC. It is for the newest updated version, 1.2.4.1, and I'm pretty sure it works on all existing versions before this. And it should work on mostly existing the versions after this. It just may not include all the items, but normally they update it on the forums anyway. So uh, the link I sent, I'm going to put in the description down below is going to have the most updated version for this. And the process should be similar for pretty much all of them. Anyway, let's get started. I did a video on the Terraria Inventory Editor for Mac, and I used a process that was more complicated than it actually needed to be. So that's why it didn't work for some people. Nevertheless, we're going to update it for PC because the game was built for PC. I used, I had the game bought. I just used, I'm like, wait, why doesn't this work on Mac? So I just found something online that gave me a port of the Mac version. Anyway, we're going to do it on PC because Terraria players pretty much are all on PC. Anyway, so to get started, all you have to do is have a character set up, just a basic character pretty much set up in Terraria before you start. So, I've started, and it's, and then I'm just going to open up the Terraria Inventory Editor, called Terraria Inventory Edit version 5.7.2. Anyway, so, so um, all you have to do from here is open, a f open your player file, and it should automatically take you to your player file. Now, um, I have a player set up already called Bill Lyons III, I don't know why I named him that, but nevertheless, it doesn't really matter. So, anyway, so... On this screen, it's your stats. So pretty much the only thing you have to be worried about here, unless you want to be changing you know, your, the way your uh, player set is set up, you know, you could change it to hardcore, change it to medium core, things like that. Um, then you can change your HP, and the max HP for Terraria is 200. So now that I just maxed out my Terraria, Terraria's HP without actually doing anything. So that's why it's kind of cool. Uh, I like to do this on servers and stuff. So anyway, so next up you have your look screen. And normally your look screen, um, uh, I don't know what that button did until now. <laughs> okay. So your look screen is just pretty much editing the color of everything. And it brings up this basic RGB scale that you can use to color your, um, things. Like your hair and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> So your inventory next is probably the most the, the thing that most of you are going to be using this for. So as I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with this one. For your inventory, you can have um there it shows all your slots, your ammo slots, your armor slots, your die slots, your purse slots, your piggy bank, and your safe. Anyway. All right, so what we're going to be worrying about is your inventory at this part. So with the prefix, any weapons or anything like that have most of them actually have prefixes on them. So you just choose one of your prefix. Let's just choose just choose dangerous because that's my middle name. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um, uh, I guess you can change it with the scroll wheels. Oh, that's cool. I did not know that. All right, so let's take some scion die. It's gonna be bulky scion die. So we're gonna choose a scion die, and you know what? I'm like, I want a max stack. Actually, I realized something. It doesn't. I'm not sure if it works if you put a prefix on it. Um, so I'd be careful about that. So if it's if it's a normal item that doesn't belong with a prefix, you can't choose a prefix for it. That's probably why I couldn't get some items in the game earlier. Anyway, so we're just gonna choose the bat hook. So we save the item, the bat hook, into the game into its files, then I'm just gonna pull, throw on some other things, like, you know, maybe his Aaron's helmet, or Aaron's leggings, or Aaron's breastplate, okay, so, yeah, so, now that we have all this stuff, um, we can save, but I want to show you the last category, which is the buffs category, which is actually kind of cool, so, for one, the buffs that you can choose, are pretty much all of them. Actually, even the deadly ones you can choose. So let's just choose, I don't know, Leaf Crystal. So with Leaf Crystal, like with this, the buff thing, you can choose literally the max time, which is 99 hours of buff, which is why some of these things are really cool, especially when you're going on servers and stuff, 
Because I freaked out some people thinking, how's this guy sitting in the water for so long? Like, I don't understand. And I was like, I'm cool like that. I'm being sucked into the mouth. You know what? That's actually a bad one. Let's not do that. Baby penguin. That's beautiful. All right. So now that we're um, we have all our things set up, um, our stats, our looks, our inventory, everything like that, we're going to go into. Uh, we're actually going to go into the game now. But first, all we have to do is save your character, save your player. So everything should be the same. So if you were to close this, just to make sure everything's saved, close it, open it back up. And everything that you changed should be there. Alright, let's open up Terraria really quickly. Alright, so now that we have Terraria open, all you gotta do is choose single player. Billions the third. World one. That's just the world I chose. I just made it up. Okay, so as we're loading in. Oh god, I forgot I put this on. Okay. Anyway. As you can see, all the items that we had are actually in-game now. So, let's see. So I chose the bat hook, and now we have the bat hook. And the baby penguin buff. So, yeah. So that's pretty much everything you had to do. Oh. Ah, I'm stuck on the green thing. Uh, did the buffs not work? That's actually kind of odd. Normally the oh no the baby penguin buff worked all right whatever uh, I guess that top buff doesn't really work apparently but nevertheless it's still cool so anyway this has been Johnny Whip 10 bringing you another straightforward process on how video games work thank you for watching please subscribe like comment and please. For the most part, share this video. I want to grow my channel back to as big as it was before. So I and really enjoyed if you guys shared this video. And you know what? If you really enjoyed it, subscribe. That would even that would help me also as, just as much. So thanks guys for watching. You guys are probably you guys are the best. So yeah, thanks for watching.